Hi guys and uh, welcome to my review of the CVJ Interstellar or also known as the Nebula depending on which color you choose. This is a single DD from CVJ, uh, it's action I and it was developed last year, a limited edition uh, unit, I believe only 500 of these were made and you can pick these up now at the CVJ Global store for around $30 uh, and um, yeah I mean let, let, let me just you know get straight into the box, simple, nothing special, open it up very very basic as basic as possible be the IM scan over there the cable uh, it's actually you know it's not a bad little cable it's 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 okay I mean I've seen worse cables but this is after all a somewhat budget product okay it's not a it's actually just the terminations yeah they're a little bit on the bad on the not bad side but a little bit on the on the cheap side let's put it that way but the actual cable itself is is, is okay it's fine um, so we here uh, brings a couple of tips nothing special as well and the tips let me just say that the tips do not do the uh, interstellar justice the interstellar is the black version uh, and the nebula is the one that has the the red faceplate I'll show it to you now in a, in a, sec in a second just put this thing away there we go okay so it's a single DD as I mentioned it's a graphene uh, diaphragm uh, 22 ohm impedance, uh, 120 dB sensitivity, so it's actually quite easy to run it off your, your phone. Uh, and in terms of the build, it's it's very nice. It's a nice resin shell, uh, very, very smart. Uh, it's debatable whether or not the actual quality of the faceplate graphic is uh, nice or not. Uh, you know, yeah, I'll leave that to everyone's discretion. But it's got the name there on the on the faceplate interstellar and it's it, it looks it looks nice it fits beautifully i'm using my trusty uh 07 tips uh, and i'm using a, a j kelly <coughs> sorry not a j kelly uh, um uh, a j li j lali i believe you see, that's how you said from nice hck uh, cable um and you know it, it works it just works fine it's 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 perfect this this combination fit as i said is is good it fits nicely um the tips, the stock ones, I didn't use them because I just don't like those tips to start with. Um, and so I opted for my 07s, like I mentioned. Uh, I also tried some white bores on it, um, but the white bores somehow didn't really uh, open up the sound anymore or anything. Uh, and, and what do I mean by that? Well, um, any one of these IEMs that's uh, in front of us right now, and I'll just take you through them now quickly. Okay, this is the Flow Audio Color single DD as well. This is the uh, already an older IEM, the Nice HTK DB1, also a single DD. Um, and that's the venerable uh, HD Sound Heart Mirror over there, the original one, not the Zero, which is basically the same thing. And that's the TT Romso, uh, the Tipsy TT Romso. Obviously, completely different prices. We're talking roughly about $35, $30. About twenty-five, about uh, forty, forty-five dollars. If you buy by the zero, it's about thirty, thirty-five dollars. So these four kind of priced well, you know, more or less within reason. That would be is uh, about a hundred dollars. So completely different. But why do I have it there? Simple. The moment I put on the interstellars and I started listening to them, I was automatically reminded of two IEMs, the Tip T Tromso, and uh, the the Flow Audio Color. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, any one of these four, or sorry, these five, they've got a different tuning style. They've got a tuning style which is not the one that you look at the graph and you automatically fall in love with. No, it doesn't. They have, um, uh, you know, the, 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 this, this, this uh, pin again area or in post pin again area which is all full of ups and downs and you kind of look at it and you question yourself, how the hell is this possible? Is it going to sound anyway? you know decent or anything and then when you actually listen to them you you pleasantly surprised i mean the tt romso and the and the venture electronic ca for example are two perfect examples of two unbelievable iems that have this different style of tuning that just sound absolutely amazing it's a it's an organic it's an old school type of sound and it's just super engaging super it's it's very it's it's a lush sound that just grabs you just captivates you. it might not be the ultimate in detail retrieval and that kind of stuff but it, it, it's a sound that grabs you and pulls you in and draws you in and you you get yourself uh, you find yourself listening to music that you usually don't even listen to because you are surprised at how well uh, it plays it i mean one of the songs that i i, 
uh, I I've been listening a lot to now lately is, is uh, well music by Michael Franks. But every time she whispers, uh, you, you, seriously, you have to listen to that song. I'll, I've got it. I'll put it in my in my in my description so you guys can afterwards have a listen. You have to listen to that song. It is a song that really, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, really showcases, uh, you know, uh, uh, if an I am is capable or not. The Titi Romso, V.E. C.A. Tremendous, okay? The moment I put on the, 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 the CVJ, I got vibes of that. I got this vibe of an old school kind of sound. It's Yes, it is uh, somewhat bass heavy because there's a, an emphasis on the mid bass. But it just, you know, you look at the graph when you're graphic and you say, oh my God, but you listen to it and it just comes together nicely. Having said that, Keep in mind, with the stock tips, I don't like it. But with the BG, with the, with the KB Euro 7s, yes, it, it really is. Uh, it really is a very nice, very special IEM. Uh, and, and one that actually, uh, I was surprised because, you know, CVJ has its ups and downs. They either do something which is absolutely spectacular. And going back to the older models, uh, things like the mirror was absolutely amazing. And then they do things like the the the, the devil or what it was, but if it was called the devil, uh, which is like, what is this? You know, like you, you you ask yourself, how is it possible? Or then the the angel wings as well. I mean, what what is what, what is this? I mean, it's absolutely, uh, you know. And now lately they've gone again and they've done really good. The the the, the CVJ May, absolutely amazing. I am somewhat based on the mirror, but with tuning switches that put on the the, the you know that uh, add and uh, or detract uh, the BAs from from the actual equation because it's a one plus two. And you have to listen to the May honestly. If you haven't listened to the May, make it a point to go listen to it because you will be impressed by the CVJ May. And uh, the interstellar or, or the nebula, which one, whichever one, whichever color you choose, uh, it has to do with the faceplate, like I mentioned. It's 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 got that kind of magic to it. It sounds really really nice. Yes, it's not audio file correct. No, it it's not it's not going to be the ultimate in detail or chill. But it's got a nice, fun, engaging bass, which is very very kind of velvety. Uh, it's it's not. This is not an. If you like. Uh, if you like the sound, for example, of uh, if what you like is the sound of a Tenafi, the T2, the original one, that this is not it. Forget it. Th that's not it. Uh, this is the complete opposite. Uh, it, but it, it's it's in in its in its uh, oppositeness, if that's a correct way of saying, it's got a very nice mojo. It's got this this uh, this magic that again draws you in, much like the TT Romso and the and the Venture Electronic Seal, like I mentioned. It just brings you in. And then the other IEM that I uh, was automatically reminded of was the Flow Audio Color. And the Flow Audio Color, I have to I have to admit that maybe in the beginning I didn't really give it much love um, because I was just well. It, it, the first thing that really got me was the the the. the the, the driver flex. I, I just cannot tolerate it, period. End of story. I, I don't understand why in this day and age you still have to take uh, or you still have to accept driver flex on any IEM, be it an IEM of $5 or an IEM of $1,000. I don't accept it. And and that, to a certain extent, kind of set the stage for me to be a little bit on the, on the, on the negative side towards the color. But the truth is, again, the color... Uh, on the type of tuning that it has, which is not a tuning that's supposed to be the ultimate in detail retrieval, the ultimate in its technical the aspects, but it's supposed to be a tuning which is fun, engaging, it's got a nice thick bass, you know, it's in that aspect is really, really good. It's well put together, it's got a great shell as you can see as well, really nice, really nice shell, very understated IEM, kind of just goes under the radar. Um, and it, it plays well, it plays well, yes, it does play well. And then I've got two others here that have the similar type of mids that both the Interstellar and the and the Color have. So past 1K, all of these four are very similar. The difference is then that these two have subdued bass. Or, well, not subdued bass, but they've got the kind of a neutralish bass, okay? And by neutralish, is they, it's kind of almost flat. And I'm referring myself, obviously, to the DB1 and to the, 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 the Heart Mirror. Uh, the heart mirror needs no real, uh, uh, no real introduction. Uh, you know, it was the IM uh, um, that kind of uh, overthrew the 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 the, the, um, 
the T2, the original TNFI T2, by being as technical, as detailed, having as much abilities when it came to technicalities, at a price that at the time for $35 was unheard of, um, being as technical as I am is way more expensive, and we don't be back like 2020. This, this was the polar opposite of the Blano 3. Okay, so that was the opposite of the Blano 3. The Blano 3 was all about being uh, fun, engaging, thick sounding, uh, and this was about being, yes, fun, engaging, but highly technical. This uh, uh, m maintains that price. It's, it is unquestionably the most technical IM out of all of these. Obviously, there are a great, a great uh, to a great extent, it owes that ability to the fact that it has got, uh, a, like I said, a very neutralish base. But, you know, it is sufficient. It, 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 I never really, with the exception of a few songs here and there, I never really found the, the Heart Mirror to be a song, to be a song, to be an, an IM that I kind of was left, you know, I wish it had a bit more bass. Uh, not really. For the majority, it was fine. I mean, even songs like Arancio Bossa uh, from from Arancio Bossa, Andrea uh, Razzuti, or like um, let me see, Feels Good from Rashan Peterson, which I use quite often, or even Elephant from Carol Dubok. It, it does it. It plays them back beautifully. Beautifully. It's got more than enough impact in the bass. Okay. The the DB one is basically the same thing. Very very close to the to the uh, to the heart mirror just with a, a simpler shell, a plastic shell, but uh, using also a, a really nice driver, uh, I believe it is um, a PU and, 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 and biofiber driver diaphragm that's used. So the driver quality was good, uh, the, the heart mirror used the CNT driver, um, the, the, the CVJ uses a graphene driver, if I'm not in, in, in mistake, uh, let me just confirm that for you for a second. Yes, it's a graphene uh, diaphragm driver, and the color also uh, uses a graphene driver, if, I, if, I, if memory serves me right. So, every one of these has got a good quality driver. I'm, I'm actually going to exclude here the, the TT ROMs because it's in a different championship. It's just here because of the fact that it's reminded the, you know, of the sound. Now, going into more detail about uh, the sound of the Interstellar. As I said, it's got this um, emphasis on the mid bass. Uh, it's got enough sub bass. There's not no lack of sub bass. Although the mid bass being a little bit more emphasized, it kind of uh, has a tendency of overpowering to a certain extent whatever details might exist in terms of of, of the sub bass frequencies of the rumbles. Okay, um, it's got a, a relatively early pin again, um, peaks at about two k, and then drops down and and then begins the whole roller coaster up and down all the way through. Um, but for some reason, like I mentioned before, everything just comes together in a very nice manner. Yes, of course, uh, vocals, uh, male vocals are really good, female vocals are slightly closed in, but still nothing which I consider offensive. Timbre and tonality are, for the most part, uh, good, although a little bit on the thicker side with regards to some instruments. Guitars will sound just a little bit overly thick, and there will be a, a certain lack of that little you know, twang of the of the of the of the of the strings and so on and so forth. The same thing happens with pianos. But like I said, it's not the technicalities that the CVJ is about. The the CVJ is about being fun, musical, nice to listen to, you know. And honestly, um although it is uh, yes uh, thick in the bass as compared to the D B one or the Heart Mirror and on the same level as on the as a, as the flow color with regards to that, it is not an IEM that I can say that I got fatigued of listening to it. No, I didn't. It, you know, it, you 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 listen to it very easily, very very in a very relaxed, very chilled out manner. And ultimately, you, if you get tired of listening to it, it's just because you now want to perhaps do some more critical listening and want to start listening to something with more with more precision. That's all. Um, in terms of soundstage, it's a closed-in soundstage. It's not a very expensive sound, expensive soundstage. This is mainly due again to that emphasis on the bass that I mentioned before. Imaging, um, it's acceptable. I guess the imaging is acceptable. Not the ideal, but it's acceptable. Uh, detailed retrieval as well, acceptable. Uh, there, there could be a little bit more. All of these things actually, and and I actually just tried for the fun of it. I just tried EQing the bass down slightly. And the moment you include in, in, EQ the bass down slightly, yes, it opens up the IM completely. It now becomes m way more along the lines of the DB1 and the Heart Mirror because the curve past pin again, like I said, is actually very similar. But it also 
takes away the, the you know the the, the 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 mojo of the high, the whole thing. I mean, the, the, what is nice about the CVJ and what is nice about the Flow Audio is that it's got they've got that thick bass. Uh, and and actually, if, if some of you might remember when I reviewed the Flow Audio, I said that the Flow Audio reminded me of a Blown 03, and it does remind me of a Blown 03. The Blown 03 is just better in the way that it does the mids and the highs. That's it. But in terms of the bass, I could actually say that these three are very similar. So so these three, sorry, these two and the Blown 03 are very similar in the in the, in the bass department. Okay, so it's they've got nice nice thick bass which has got decent texture, decent speed. Um, and although there's a little bit of bleed into the mids, it's not a bleed which uh, is is offensive to the point of just messing up things and, and making vocals not come across, you know, uh, half correct or or, or in a, in a an unclear manner or anything of the sort. No, it, it, it they they all do it very nice. It's about as I say, and I've repeated myself already quite a few times. <laughs> It's, it's about being nice, musical, engaging, and easy to listen to. That's what the, 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 the Interstellar or Nebula is about. And that's it, guys. I mean, there's really not much I can and say about the, 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 the Nebula. If, if that is the kind of sound that you're looking for, uh, and you want to perhaps buy something different or look into something that is different than the usual, uh, you know, the usual culprits, the usual... Uh, uh, IEMs or brands that we go for, have a look at the CVJ. Seriously, have a look at the CVJ. You won't be disappointed. It's got nice build. Okay, it could be have you know it could have better accessories, better cable, a bit more tips and so on and so forth. That is true. But you know, have a look at it. It's it's it is a nice IEM that deserves a little bit of love. It really does. Anyway, I'll show you the graphs now next, and uh, that's it. And we'll wrap it up. Take care. Hi guys, and uh, welcome now to the graph section of the CVJ uh, Interstellar or Nebula, whichever way you want to call it. That's the graph of the, the Nebula. As you can see straight away, it doesn't look as appealing as you would like it to be. Um, you know, really bloated mids, uh, mid bass, sorry, that bleeds into the mids, and then all these peaks and, 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 and dips, uh, you know, after the pin again, which is the peaks very, well, it rises abruptly in peaks that are about 2k, and then you have all these dips and ups and downs and so on and so forth. But the reality is when you listen to it, it actually sounds pretty decent. It actually does sound pretty decent. I'm not saying this just for the sake of saying it. I'm saying it because it actually is what, what I hear. It sounds very, very decently. And uh, when I said that it actually reminded me of the TT Romso, which I'm putting up now, you can see why. Because the bass is very similar in its curve. The, the only area really where there's a big difference is this part here of the 2K between 1.5 and 3, uh, where the TT Romso doesn't have this peak. Uh, but otherwise they sound very very similar yes the tt rom so is ultimately more polished cleaner you can you can sense that it's a a, a more a more upscale product it's, it's a better quality product probably down to the fact that the driver is a better quality driver but it's been been well tuned it's well put together it sounds absolutely amazing the, the tt rom so but the cvj holds its own quite well and that's why it reminded me of the of the the TT ROM. So, the other IEM as well that uh, I said reminded me very much of uh, of the uh, of the CVJ was the Flow Audio the color, uh, which is what I've just put up now. And again, you can see there's a certain amount of similarity. Uh, past 1K, the, you know, dips and high and peaks at more or less the same place. Uh, the biggest difference here is now in the in the mid bass area and how much bleed is there into the mids, which is significantly less than the CVJ. Um, but still, they, they both sound very, very decent. I mean, uh, honestly, it, it's actually quite, quite, uh, quite surprising that you know the CVJ and the Flow Audio actually sound as good as they do. Although I was a little bit hard in the in the with the Flow Audio initially when I reviewed it, but mainly it was just down to the fact that you know the the driver flex just just really gets me going. Um, and then I also compared it to the um, HD Sound and to the nice HDK, uh, HD Sound Hardware and the nice HDK DB1. Why? Because they again have, um, uh, uh, let's say, a past 1K area. This is this, the, 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 the DB1, the nice HDK, and the heart mirror is now this one here. Okay. Um, as you can see, again, there is. Uh, some similarities here. There is some similarities. Uh, much more uh, in with the DB1, which uh, has kind of got the same peaks and dips in the same in the same places and everything. The nice HDK, the 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 
the heart mirror is, is a little bit more plateaued, doesn't peak as much, well, doesn't have any peaks for that, for that matter. Um, that's just, the, uh, that's just the, the heart mirror with the, um, uh, with the CVJ. Uh, obviously, the, the, these two, the biggest difference uh, to, the, to the CVJ is they don't have as much bass. No, we, I mean, we're talking uh, 6 to 8 dBs difference in terms of the bass, which if the song has it, you will definitely pick up on it. If the song doesn't have it, you will not pick up on it as much. You just notice that the CVJ does, uh, does things with it, just a little bit more extra weight, that's all. But otherwise, they sound very, very similar. As I mentioned, the heart mirror is uh, un unquestionably the more the more technically capable. I mean, the mids, the the the, the, the mids, the upper mids, and the highs are flawlessly done, in my opinion. And you know, it deserves it's it's um, it's um, it deserves the shilling that it got in terms of it being really capable, uh, technically wise, um, especially when you consider the price. Uh, and and that's it, guys. I mean, there's really not much more that I can say here. I mean, you know, uh, heart mirror. Uh, DB1, Flow Audio, uh, they all kind of have some similarities here in the in the in the past 1K area, more or less, you know. Um, and the the truth is that the CVJ was and is a pleasant surprise. I was not expecting it to be uh, as as nice and as engaging as it actually is. Anyway, guys, that's basically it. Anything you know, any questions or doubts or anything you want, please as feel. Feel free to, to ask and I'll do my best to answer as quickly as possible. Alright, you take care now. Bye-bye.